Hi, my name is Lindy Verasquala and I am the founder of Touch My Yoni on YouTube. Um, I think the reason I started my YouTube channel was because I realized that there was an actual disconnect between what we learn in school, or rather what we don't learn, and what we face in life. From a really, really good standpoint, I realized that how could I try and help my community, how could I try and help those around me to actually bridge the education gap. And I thought of so many different things, um, and then YouTube was one of the options. And as much as, as an African, I talk about things that are generally seen as taboo, especially as a black African woman. And um, I realized this when majority of my audience isn't even South African, it's actually in the United States and the United Kingdom. But the opportunities that YouTube has afforded me and opened up for me is um, has definitely expanded my reach from just the small three million that there is on YouTube to even beyond that. I think it's important to talk about sex education because when we think of education, we think what can you do to sustain your life to get a job? Uh, we don't think about the mental wellness, we don't think about how sex itself and the lack of information around it could potentially even affect your life. Um, and just from our gender-based violence stats and you know just how African the sexual world is even felt or even um, how do I put it how the sexual world is seen as such a taboo we obviously have a lot of misinformation and someone who went to a great school I've been going to good schools my whole life I'm I would say I'm quite educated there was just so much that I didn't even know and that's the reason I started it there are a lot of struggles in Africa because not only do we have to worry about our day-to-day -day, like clean water, electricity, etc. But we definitely don't have as much resources as the rest of the world when it comes to things like the internet, Wi-Fi, or even just cell phones to be able to access this information. And as much as South Africa is my target market and the African woman or the African child, I do believe that YouTube has afforded me the opportunity to be recognized and to be um, noticed by companies who do have access to um, platforms such as YouTube to then start to use me in order to uh, educate those beyond just the YouTube platform. So I'm extremely grateful. Um, I do know that there's a lot of issues that come with having a YouTube channel. There's a lot of restrictions um, and not only restrictions within the platform itself, but restrictions in terms of who actually has access to it. So I'm quite grateful for the opportunity. I'm extremely excited that I have reached the milestone that I have and I know that it's just gonna be bigger and bigger and bigger and better.